In the year 1964, two rogue alien beings, Corina and Leo, brother and sister, crash land on a planet not so different from their own. The technologically advanced planet of Zimlandaland. Zimlandaland issued a bounty for the sale and application of the illegal plant, Pybexwa. They narrowly escape the tyranny-filled planet of Zimlandaland. Corina and Leo crash on Earth. Earth, third in line to be destroyed by their own son's supernova. But fear not, the eve of this destruction will never be seen by the planet's humanoid inhabitants, for they shall meet their own demise by their own doing. Corina and Leo find suitable living conditions while intermingling with the planet's humanoid inhabitants. The Zimlandalandian and humanoid resemble one another, except in intelligence. The humanoid can barely put the circopeg in the hole. The Zimlandalandian can cross the known galaxy and more. Both have the same reproductive skills. Well, well, this is a story not about them. That will be for another time. This is a story about our children, half-alien, half-humanoid children. Leo Jr., a.k.a. the mob boss, my nephew and leader of all half-aliens on Earth, first child of Leo and Martha of Los Angeles, California. Rio, human protector to Leo Jr., and part-time nanny to Zargush. Bab human protector of Rio. Roderick, orchard owner and first child of myself and Gus of Hidden Valley, California. Wong, human protector of Rod. Zargush, child of my brother Leo and Zintha. And like her mother, this baby from Landalandian speaks a thousand tongues and mimics even more. Zargoosh was entrusted to Leo Jr. when Zintha crashed her ship in a game of hide the spaceship behind the comet with my brother Leo. Zintha did not survive. But her spirit, sharp tongue, and dislike for pigeons can be seen and heard in Zargoosh. day at work. So we took the two yuppies from Hollywood down to the boss's place in downtown. Mm -hmm. Next on the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show, we go live to a local businesswoman. You know, the one off 9th Street. Mm -hmm. As she talks about the trials and tribulations of being a prostitute hooker whore. Next on the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. I'm not show. a whore. I'm a businesswoman. Yeah. Got a chain. Clamp their balls together. You know the old way with the taser, right? Welcome back to the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. We're here live with Sprinkles. Is, is it Lana Sprinkles? Lana Sprinkles. Lana. Gotcha. And interesting Stop. name. Oh, yes. Lana is anal backwards. Right. Well, folks, if you ain't got any other place to be, stick around. This and much more on the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. I can't believe right. you've actually talked me into this up to this point. Talked right? you into what? Getting $5 million for the movie? Do you know who that make... guy is? Back away from me, woman. Well, the yuppies wouldn't talk. So what we did was we went back. We Yes, he's my associate and he's your cousin. What's the problem? Tom, I'm Let's not go. feeling good about this. I can't What's believe they're actually going to try to. A big motherfucking thing? Guys would keep bullshitting us. It lasted like five hours. I kept zapping it. Los the Angeles weather today, high of 88. Weather brought to you by Sammy's Masseuse Parlor, where you get a happy ending every single time. I can't 
can't believe you talked me into this. Look at the neighborhood this guy operates. This the guy we're gonna figure out. It on doesn't matter. It's five million dollars that we need for a production. He's my associate. He's your cousin. What could go wrong? Zapped him. Every time they would bullshit us, we would zap them. And guess what happened in the end? Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a lot that's going wrong. Such a bitch. Ryan Small. Be a man. Come on. Be a man. This is what men do when they need money. They go to the source to get it. And then you turn. Right. Now back off. Come back. Fucker wouldn't talk. Little piece of shit, baby, don't you cry. Woman. Guess what one of them did? Grow up and become a man. This is what men do when they are Very welcome, Lana. Remember, folks, you can catch Miss Sprinkles on the Caterpillar Club weeknights from 1 to 7 a.m. Next on the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show, we go live to world renowned. Bullshitting us, man. I kept zapping him in the balls. One of them starts getting a fucking boner every time I did it. And I had to use my other weapon, you know? I had to pull it out, stick it in his mouth, and tell him. I don't know about that. I do know about that. Palmer, I'm not feeling good about this. I can't What's believe you're to actually going to try to. This is what men do. We are getting money. We Listen, I'll tell you once, once only. Get out. We're back live on the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. I would like to welcome Julian Artizi to the show. Hello, Julian everybody. has been a world renowned Hi, economist. Hey, let's go. Come on. Come on, he's the books, man. All the debt. So what I say to the people out in the world is you stop the paying your credit cards yeah. and you start putting that money uh -huh. into a savings account. Preferably uh, one with preferably high interest, one right Julian? With the, with the highest interest, you know what I mean. Julian uh, Arteezy, everyone. Yes, Thanks uh, for coming in today. We uh, really appreciate all no, thank you. We appreciate all the work that you're doing oh, for thank us. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Julian. Time? You're very kind. Very kind. Very kind. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Right. Yes. Oh, so soon. Yes, Julian, oh. it's that time. Gotta move on. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Julian Arteezy, everyone. And if you're interested in financial advice, email Julian Arteezy at julianarteezy at gmail.com. And by the sound of that music, folks, that's something you should already know. It's 10 a.m. and I'm out of here. But don't worry, I'll be back around 3 o'clock today. Certain DJs have to fill in for other DJs when they get DUIs here at the KYGOIJHTW studios. But that's okay, I get to talk to my listeners, and I have to tell them more important things about the day, the night, and possibly the morning. So join us later at 3 o'clock, where we'll have a very special guest. Send your emails to unclespankerdoodle at gmail.com, and join us tomorrow from 6 to 10 on the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. Look, I don't get this. 6 and 3. Please, one more time, I'm not going to ask you again. Money from this guy. Take my word Would you it. stop being a sphincter jockey? Stop it. This guy's got the five million dollars that we need to do this movie, okay? He's not some dick smack off the street. He's your cousin, he's an associate of mine. We've gotten away from him before. Grow some balls and be a man. Come on. Do it. Come on, I'm late for my pedicure. Let's go. Okay. Alright. That's a lady bird. Ruin this atmosphere. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. I will bite. Little shitty. Oh, salutations, Virgil. It is good to see you. When are we going to be at a baseball game again? No. Hey, hi, boss. Hi, hi. Ignore them. That's right. Look at me. Let's play with this ducky. That's right. Play with me. Play with me. Play with me. I am amused. I am ever so amused. Okay, let me finish the story. It is logical. And that's logical. when human and alien came together. The end. What are these numbskulls want? Bye.
find out before I eat your face. <laughs> oh, hey, cousin. That's your puppy. Hey. What? You How are you doing? Like you. you need to look like each other. Hi, good to see you. We have aliens. Nice to see you. Oh, you I don't like it. Oh, is that you little baby with diarrhea? I am. I have diarrhea. And it stinks. Oh, oh, how are you doing? It's good. How are you? I'm well. How, how's your mother and your father? Doing you know very well, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad they adopted you. You're just a kiddie little baby. Would they be looking to adopt another baby? Long doesn't like babies. He just started his day. He likes to eat in my beer. I ought to know. I Baby can eat eater. It sing to me. Sing to me now. Or I get comedy. I want you to <laughs> sing to me. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. You put the ducky in. Um, you put the ducky in. A comedy out. movie in the locations the ducky are very expensive. And you out. shake it the greater Los Angeles <laughs> area. You and they, they go for and you thousands and thousands around. of a day and um, we want to ask you for a few uh, dollars. Say something um, loud. There's a son of a bitch's pigeon. Exterminate it! Ah, you get away from me, you pigeon! Kill it. What do you want me to do, boss? Please exercise some patience. Okay, well, take me you can't take my baby! Shoot the pigeon. What, what should I do, boss? Leo, shoot that later. pigeon. I'll shoot that pigeon, boss. Oh, jeez! Uh, oh, 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 take a deep breath. Get to your point. Don't be loud about it. Stand up. Don't scold. To get to his point. Tell him I don't want to tell him. Ask him. Fine, boss. Boss, you and I have done some business in the past before. You've always been very generous and very good. Not only to me, but to other people. We're coming to you in hopes that your generous nature Money changer! Please find help again. Sing to me now! I want you to do it. Good one, boss. You think his parents would miss him? Oh, they'll miss him, all right. Question is, do you think they'll donate his body to science? They might. They definitely might. Spit it out there, Slappy McDonald. So, um, we wanted to make a film. Um, it's, it's, not, it's a comedy. It's going to be funny. Uh, we've got a couple of up and coming actors from, you know, various colleges. And, stuff. and we just basically would like to, you know, know if we could have some money. We're going to need about $5 million because um, we have locations that are expensive. And, Everything you know, we need for this movie is all planned out. We need a little bit of financing to help us get through the production. If you can be so kind, we appreciate it. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Calm Thank down you, already. Calm down. Oh, did you want to know how much? Yes, numbers okay. would be fine, but in the future, could you bring us a piano statement or something? You said five million dollars, like the six mm. zeros. Is, okay, leave it alone. Boss, thank you so much. You're very generous. Put wait, wait, wait! Before they go, I need them to do a few things for me, like yeah. bring me the tea master. I have diarrhea so and it stings. I tell you, it Put stings. Bring me the tea master. What can we do for you? I'm gonna need you to bring me Mr. T. Having a bad day? Feeling blue? Constipated or have diarrhea? Well, folks, stop losing hope. There is a cure. The Tea Master. The cure of fine teas, herbs, and spices blended together for the right balance of flavor to please the palate. The Tea Master also dabbles in Chinese herbalism, working with ancient Chinese tradition of Chinese herbal applications since 1941. Now you've got a friend in the tea business, the Tea Master. How the hell you know what she said? You were intoxicated. She could have puked in your mouth and you would have thought it was beer. Okay, so I... I don't know what actually happened. I'm just going by what I was told when I woke up. Ryan. He was one of the designated drivers. He said he overheard Haley saying things would be different between the two of us. Oh, it's different, all right. Now you know what her ass looks like outside of her jeans. The Tea Master, located at 5057 Pico Boulevard, one half mile east of I-10, open Monday through Friday till eight, Saturday and Sunday till five. Oh, I just love that commercial. Mr. Tea Master, because he holds an elixir for the little baby down there that has diarrhea. That's not good. 
be glad to. Wait, wait, We'd wait. Be Before glad we go, to. we need the hybrid cleaned, the windows washed, the okay. solar panels dusted. Okay. And get the tea master. Solar panel. And the tea master. Solar panel. Solar panel. Okay. This is the Bring me the motherfucking tea master. Tea master. Bring me the tea master. I that have diarrhea so and it so stings, I tell you. Uh, it stings. Uh, we get rid of that. That's not uh, good. No, 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 it's not good. No, 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 she's been bound up for me now. Bring me the motherfucking T-Man. Right. Boss, where can we find Mr. T-Man? 50, 57, Pico. 50, 57, Pico? Hey, what does he mean? It doesn't matter what he needs Mr. T-Man for. Hey. I'm sorry, boss. Where did you say we could find Mr. T-Bag? Fuckers need a Q-tip? Oh. 50, 57, Pico. It stings, I tell you. It stings. Bring me the T-Master. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, go get him, boys. You donate his body to science? Go. You got it, boss. He'll be here. Um, thank you. Bring me the master. 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 Bye, cousin. Baby's got diarrhea and it's making a big mess. Sing to me. Sing to me now. Sing to me. Sing to me now. Don't to Hush, little Real baby, baby don't say a word. Huh? Real huh? gonna huh? kill huh? you, a huh? mockingbird. Huh? If huh? that huh? mockingbird huh? does. not I don't care what you say. This might be weird. No, but it's actually oddly intriguing. This is and very intriguing. Very much so. And that must be him. Yeah. Excuse me, are you the, uh, the teabag man? Uh, the yeah. teabag man? Yes. Very good. Hey, uh, I'm Rod and this is Wong, no relation. Um, we basically have been sent down here by Boss. I believe he's a client of yours. And, uh, Boss would just like to know, um, he's a big fan of your mancha tea and he's wondering if you could meet with him. Oh, yes. I mm -hmm. just would like to meet with you, would you? It'll be the time of your life, guaranteed. Guarantee. Guarantee. That's the type of man he is. Yeah. That like, uh, sounds good to me. Right now. Could you come with oh, us? now? We'd appreciate mm. it. Very much so. And a bottle of your agave. Oh, yeah. agave. Sure. So, shall Let's we go. leave then? Shall we? Sure. Let's Mr. go. Mr. T, I must say, I love this decorative scheme. Were you Even better. Okay. Shall we? You know, I gotta give you compliments. This is a well-decorated yeah. place. This is a beautiful decorative scheme, by I love that. Um, great Let's go. So, Mr. T, do you, are you in charge of the decorative scheme of this uh, establishment? Yes. You're the guy I want to talk to. Oh, thank you. That was the last time we ever tasted someone's balls. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that method anymore. Oh, you should have seen the best. Right this way, Mr. T. Came all over the place. Did, did, uh, did they live? She lived? What the hell? Hi, wait, your mama with that mouth? I don't know, I didn't know. Did you should be Oscar Mike. Oh, didn't Very well, fucker, man. man. Fuck. Stay frosty, chunky butt. Baby, I don't know. I don't know. 
I just got back on you. you. Oh, I eat 50 monkey butts. Man, it was so fucking disgusting. It was worse than the time when I stabbed that Yakuza dude 50 times in the stomach after he ate sushi. Smell like shit. Where'd you have the body? Same place? Yeah, we're in the desert, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's the last time I'm gonna taser someone's balls, man. All his pubes fell out. He had a fucking boner. That's Disgusting as shit. You'll be the best day of your life. I've Guaranteed. Hey, it's the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, come on in. Like I told you, buddy, best day of your life. And what? Calm down, guys. Still have some poo poo in my diaper oh, there, you Chief. Got so much I dare you. What? That's what I thought. Did someone drop the soap? Hurry up! Unbelievable for you, it really is. By the way, I'm curious, what kind of tea do you make anyway? I got this. Tea with matcha. Let's go! Ah, the prodigal Rio has returned. Looks like everything turned out just fine. Boss. Rio, can we go to a baseball game? Huh? Hey. Huh? 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 I really enjoy baseball. Diarrhea. Excuse me. Still have some poo poo in my diaper there, Chief. I want you to sing to me. Sing to me now. 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 Yeah. It's like a crop. Anyways. Oh, you're still giving him the money? Do you have the money? You've got the money, Cupcake. Thank now get a move on. Boss, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Took a dump. Yeah. In the past. Diarrhea coming out from everywhere. Who took a dump on my they hybrid? And why aren't these solar panels dusted? Oh, I want oh, you to strip the toilets clean. I do with the two little baby with the baby. And I intend to. <laughs> Wait. Do you have any idea what we just did and where this money came from? Ah! Doesn't matter. We're making a movie. Stop your force fights. Come on. Come on. Come on. It was just amazing. Yes, I used to work at a military camp. And, and I... that's a mock mom scene and the amazing talking alien baby. <laughs>
hillside somewhere over there and I come and this shitty alien baby is just peeking, 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 little peeking. You just won 50 lottery scratch tickets. Tell everybody what radio station you're listening to. Productions! Of subsidiary of Ha Ha Ha. That was funny. We're back with the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. I'm fortunate to have two guests back with me. <laughs> That's right. Rufus Connor Strilling the Third and, uh, well, Lena. Lana. Lana Sprinkles. Lana Sprinkle. Sprinkle. You know, it's funny in high school, my. Oh, friend, hey, Lana! Hi there. You want to come visit me at Big Sam's Kitty Cat Club down on 7th? I can't. I'm in prison. Oh, well, whenever you get out, you can. Okay. Welcome back to the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. I'd like to welcome Richard Fleck to the studio. Oh, uh, you can just call me Dick. All right, Dick. Dick's a bit of a connoisseur of video games, and he's going to tell our audience what his games are to play and what favorite systems he likes to play them on. And, Dick, I'll leave the mic to you. Um, I like to play a bunch of RPG games, such as New... And a lot of the time the campaigning on... I just started playing video games. Yes. Just recently, I found out that my car smells like shit. <laughs> that is a uh, that is a bit of a problem. And how are you, how are you dealing with those uh, those shit smells? Well, just recently, I found out that my dog took a dump in the passenger seat. No kidding. But this was back like a month ago. It's still in, the Anyways, smell's still in there. Saying. Back in high Can't school, believe it. it. Was funny uh, he had my diarrhea. My first car was a Ford Probe, so yeah. my friends called me. It's anal like probe. a drop yeah, now. Yeah, you like to be probed. Ah, Anyways, that's funny. I've been trying to get rid of that with Febreze and anything. By the way, Febreze does not get rid of the smell. It does not. It does not get rid of the smell at all. <laughs> Goodbye. Anyways. Do you have any more I hear you have a bit of a military background. Yes. I used to work at a military camp. Then all of a sudden, I wasn't really a good private. Anyways, a sergeant ran up to me and he screamed orders at me. Private, I want you to clean the toilets with your toothbrush. And I want them clean enough so I can eat off of them. And I intend to. He was going to eat off the toilets. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the part where you sit on it. And they paid you to do this? <laughs> yeah. Just for the fun of it, I opened, I put a sign in front of, like, one of the, in front of the stalls. It said, please take a dump and rub it on the toilet seat. <laughs> Jeez. Did he, so did he still eat the to off the toilet seat? Yes, without a plate. And you have photos of this. Yep. I'd love to see those. In fact, if you, you could email them to the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. That's unclespankerdoodle at gmail.com. Well, folks, that just about wraps it up for this portion of the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. I'd like to thank all my guests at the 6 a.m. hour and the... Yes. Ask about my pet. Your pet? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Okay. So, Dick, you're saying having pets uh, is an all right thing. Uh, what type of pets do you have? I have a dog, plus I live on a ranch. Recently, I got a new queen-size bed. I went to work, came back. I noticed that one of my cows were gone, and the door to my house was trampled down. Trampled down? Why? I walked inside, and I saw a bunch of hoof prints covered in crap. 
it led to my room. I opened it. I saw like a cup. I saw two cows in my bed. What were they doing? Uh, unspeakable things. Two cows? Yes. Like a pillow fight? Uh, no. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Censored for the Uncle Spanker Doodle show. Yeah. Well, that just about does it for here. Wait, let me do that again. <laughs> Well, that just about does it for us here at the Uncle Spanker Doodle Show. I want to thank all my listeners from my 6 a.m. hour that's listening to my 3 p.m. hour. And once again, if you have questions or comments, feel free to email us at UncleSpankerDoodle at gmail.com. For all our guests today, including Dick Fleck, uh, Lana Sprinkles, uh, the angry man that had a... Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to put in there? Yeah. By the way... Dick sends his regard with this. <gasps> and Dick sends his regard with a healthy burp. Thanks for, thanks for listening, and onward with the show. You just won 50 lottery scratch tickets. Tell everybody what radio station you're listening to. Productions! Ha ha ha! That was funny. Duh.